boy Mac on the beat Express 
what I've been through, you know, I've been through some toxic situations, I've been through some beautiful situations, I've been through some messy situations, mm. you know, it's all part of it, so. We've all been there, been through a little <laughs> bit of everything you're talking about, you know what I'm so, saying? But we definitely love, definitely love to see the love side. Yeah, yeah, so. It makes great music. Thank you. Especially with you, you have that, that voice, that soul that I'm just telling you about, like, where does it come from? Um, just growing up, I was surrounded by music. My father was a DJ, um, so I, I learned early. And music is just one of those things, like I said, it, just, it speaks to me. So, you know, I was a big Michael Jackson fan when I was little. Uh, yeah. I, remember, I remember when Video Soul used to come on and you had Donnie Simpson, you know. That's some of the old, you know, some of you young folks won't know nothing about you that. Telling but, your age but, now. But, you know what I'm saying? When Video Soul used to come on, he used to do a little dance in the beginning. I, was, oh. I would be in front of the TV doing that same dance. So, I not even, Donnie. And, and you know what? I love to dance too, believe it or not. So, you know, growing up, man, music is everything for me. So, when it comes to my soul, I pull from everything. Isley Brothers, Michael Jackson, Keith Sweat, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, Andre 3000. I pull from all of that and give people my interpretation. So, they wanted me to ask you, did you sing in church? <laughs> no, I've been, I, they've been trying to get me to sing in church for years. They actually trying to get me to play keyboard mm. church, mainly. Uh, but I did. Throughout middle school, I did actually was I was in choir. Yeah. And also we I went played to in band. middle school. I know. I'm just, I'm just yeah, I'm there. for the people. I'm for, yeah. for the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the people. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I was in band. And you know the funny thing about band was I originally went to band to become a percussionist. So I always wanted to play choir, but at that time in schools for certain instruments you had to buy your own. My family couldn't afford drums, so, but I was already in the class, so you had to get what they have, like, that you can rent out. And I rented out a baritone, which is like a mini tuba, and <laughs> for years I just had to learn how to play the mini tuba, but it taught me so much about chord progression and, and uh, notes and just the whole language of music, so, yeah. You feel like it helped you out a lot now? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It gave me, I actually used to be in class, I would go off the the uh, the music the, the read sheets that you have to read I would go off stuff. yes I would I create my own stuff or start harmonizing in different notes and stuff so you know it was it, it allowed me some play room that's nice so do you think you still use the stuff that you learned back then now uh I think it's all a part of me it's all a part of my DNA now uh, whether I'm whether I'm directly knowing that I'm using it or indirectly, it's still part of me. So let's talk a little bit about your music. Okay. You have a catalog and you have a range. You know, you do, you have versatility, shall I say. Okay. You got some thug in you? Yeah. <laughs> you got some love in you, you know yeah, what I'm saying? saying? Like, um, I am a little bit of everything. From Oklahoma to five eighties, I think you can't really be from here and not be a part of everything that's involved with where we are from. You know what I'm saying? So, excuse me. It's definitely with my with my range. I think that just mainly comes from my love of music, um, but at the same time, it comes from my experience too. You know, because I've I've been on both sides of the river. I was actually born. In Rancho, grew up in the Govs, and then moved over to the West Side when I was in junior high, and kind of got to experience both worlds. And you know, I got to kind of see like, okay, these are what these middle class kids are doing. Like, I kind of got a little bit, bit of both worlds, so it was a lovely ordeal, and I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Mm, that's right. So let's talk about. <clears throat> Who you worked with? You worked with a little bit of everybody. A little bit. You worked a little bit. I'm trying to work with more. People don't be hitting me up like that. I mean, people don't be working as hard as you these days. People don't be hitting me up. They don't be working as hard as you. Period. I'm just saying, man. What? I mean, you know, now I'm not gonna discredit nobody because there's a lot of people out there that do be grinding and you know what I'm saying. And if I'm if I'm off the radar of what they're doing, 
I understand it. I ain't gonna hate on it at all. But you know, it's a lot of artists. I, 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 I love my city. I don't even charge for features. Like you know, you better catch me now. Put some. You better catch. You better catch me now. Get that song you know what I'm saying? Because what, what? Yesterday's price is not today's I price. Know that's you know right. what I'm saying? Stop so, going up. Yeah. So Stop you know, going you gotta up. get with me. Like I, I want to work with with everybody who takes music seriously. Like now, the people who just be doing it for fun or just just feel like they could do it because they seen somebody else doing it. I don't be with that. It gotta be in your heart. Right. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about the other side of music. We talked about a little bit of the, the singing and the soul part. Right. Let's talk about the beats. The beats. Um, <laughs> now, these days, I'm not doing as much production. I'm sorry, I didn't come to my mouth. I'm not doing as much production as I would like to be, but I will be back to it. I'm at currently in the midst of rebuilding my own setup. So I will be getting back to producing. And, but that is where I started from, for those who don't know, I started from making, I'm an MC first. I was, I've been rapping since I was like four years old. But coming into the music game, I started out making beats alongside Robert Crushaw and Rodney Moss. You know what I'm saying? We all kind of three, all three of us learned together on how to make beats and, uh, and, and recipe Simeon. You know what I'm saying? We learned that craft and I got good at it, but then it got to the point where I felt like <sighs> I had kind of paid my dues. I come from the era of hip hop where you was no better than your in-house producer or your in-house DJ. Like, you know, those days of hip hop where, you know, Cash Money had Manny Fresh and and, uh, and Leah and them had Timbaland. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you were no better than your in-house producer. So when the, when the birth of sound click started coming out, where rappers could just go by a dope beat. I kind of fell back from that because I don't. I didn't feel it was all as as authentic. You know what I'm saying? I come from the era where somebody sit down and be like, "Yo, can you make a beat to this?" And you make it. You know what I'm saying? But um, with that, I stopped producing for a long time because I want to focus more so on the artist side of it, being heard as a musician, being heard as a rapper, as a singer. Um, and eventually, I'm gonna get back to it. So I'm working on it. I, I still make beats undercover here and there and there, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's like riding a bicycle. You know what I'm saying? So So we have the rapping, the singing, the beats, the photographs, because they're not pictures, they are photographs. Make sure you check them out on social media, y'all. They are photographs. And you, and you give me all the accolades, you do so much in the community too. You you are staple in the community. What are you, what's going on with you these days, man? I, I'm just the first lady. You know, just you know, you know, okay. Okay. She's busy, but she gets it all done in she's the 24 so, she's hours. She's so humble she and modest. She's so humble and modest. Y'all better holler at her. She's like, she could represent NBA players. You know what I'm saying? She could be a whole sports I got, I got, a, M, I got a MSL uh, player in there. A major, a major league soccer player in there. So Already. I'm his sports agent. We, we, we working that yes, out. We working yeah. that out. We diddling and dabbling. We yeah. working that out. We putting it together for the people. She got things going on. Don't let her play. Y'all better hop in her in. But I say, yo, I need, I need work. But you got to be on business. If you ain't on business, she ain't messing with you. That part is true. For sure. Um, that part is very true. So... <laughs> Young Jay Wizzle, back in choir, back in band. Right. Did you ever think you would be where you are today? Uh, I thought life was going to be a lot different, so I don't know if you want to speak on that. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. I was one of those kids that was like, you know, I thought I was going to get married early. I was going to have a white picket fence, the three kids and the beautiful wife. And I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about well, I'm lying. I was thinking about music. I was definitely thinking about music. I was um, always destined to be a, a famous singer or rapper. Like I'm glad you had a picket fence. I had barbed wire, <laughs> electric stuff. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like my fence was going in, like my house. You know what I'm saying? But you know, everybody teaches I mean, now, no, I, I'm glad I skipped past that, but, you know what I'm saying, in my head back then, I, yeah, that's what I wanted. You remember when Maya was out? Like, Maya, 
Oh yeah, she gave you that. Maya, yeah, she gave you that. Maya was my. Yeah, she gave you that. You know what I'm saying? My head. Yeah, she gave you that. She, 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 she already she, had two or three of them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Maya, 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 she gave you that. Yeah. She definitely with the rug rats and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for sure. Take me there. Yeah. Want to go there? Yeah. yeah. You she know did what I'm that. Saying? She definitely did that. Yeah. So, where can we find your music, your work? Not just your music, because you got photographs. You know, you got beats. You got a little bit of everything. You got some videos people, uh, you were testing around with. I seen some. Yeah. Hey, that, that was real fly. Oh, that was real fly. I like to tell people this. I like to interact. I'm a real person. I'm not a robot. I'm not a machine. I like to. You come to my Instagram page. You talking to me. Interact. Comment. Like. I like to, I like to joke around. I got a great sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? I don't even, you can even come on there and call my, my stuff trash. Ooh. I'm going to go back with you. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just come and support. And... And be there. So, as far as my music, you can find my music everywhere. I'm on all the streaming platforms. And ain't nowhere you can't find me. So don't act like you can't find me. All you gotta do is just search "Champion I R." Simple and plain. Uh, social media. I'm there everywhere. TikTok. I'm not advanced at TikTok yet. I'm still learning TikTok. But you know, Instagram is where I'm at. I'm an Instagrammer. I like. That's my spot. You know what I'm saying? If you really want to get the it's exclusive. Vibe, yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? You it's wanna, a vibe. You want to get the exclusive champion R. You know, come on to the, come on over to, you know, Instagram. But I'm on Facebook too. You know, Champion R uh, music page. I'm, I'm, every, I'm everywhere. You can go to Reverb Nation. I'm there too. I'm, I'm everywhere. Just come find me. Champion R. Just search me, look me up. And I'm going to be there. And when you talk to me, you're going to talk to me. The Why champion. Not? The champion. <coughs> so, upcoming projects. Any upcoming projects? Lots. Lots. Um, it's kind of been a hassle lately. But, yes, I do have up and coming projects. I got uh, the Chasing Purpose EP that's going to be dropping. I'm also working on a little, uh, little, little light project, you know what I'm saying? I also got a collaboration with T West that's going to be coming out called Champion West. You know what I'm saying? So y'all definitely be looking out for that. Uh, also, me and uh, me and uh, Jacoby Ryan, Fresh, we supposed to be linking up and dropping the project as well. So, you know, look forward to all of that, man. It's just coming your way. Just bear with me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, so it takes me time to put out stuff because I like stuff to be a certain I way I and I like that. certain presentations. So, it's coming. I know all about that. Yes, for sure. So, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, I want y'all to follow me on uh, on all my social media. You know what I'm saying? Go check, go check it out. Like I said, show some love, do some comment, do some liking. I'm there. I'm gonna come to your page and like and comment on all your stuff. Show me that same love. You know what I'm saying? Also, uh, I'm part of a podcast. You know, making the network. Uh, we do co-sign. Let me see your video. So come check us out. Every Thursday we on YouTube, we going live, you know what I'm saying, and just come see what other podcasts we doing. We got Blur Game, Smoke Break, a lot of that other stuff. So come check us out. Anything I'm involved in, you got to be involved in. You see where we at, come mess with us, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't be here if it wasn't official. 100, so it is what it is. So... I'm the first lady, Tasha Mack. Shout out to Junis Barrel Films in the building. This has been the biography of Champion IR. Something that I've learned personally this year is protect your energy. You know what I'm saying? Your energy is a very valuable thing. People will come in your life, try to drain you of that energy. Some people will use your energy. Some people will destroy your energy. Protect your energy. There's nothing wrong with protecting your energy. There's wrong, nothing wrong with being a pinch selfish sometimes and protect your energy at all costs. You know what I'm saying? And, and work hard for peace, positivity, love, and prosperity. Straight up. And never quit grinding. I'm trying to get blue out. You trying to get blue out.